Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another very very interesting SQL problem. <clears throat> so the problem is this: we have a, a phone lock table. There is a phone lock table that has information about callers, call history. Okay. So we have caller ID, recipient ID, and date called. So this person called this person on this date, and we have the time also. It is a timestamp field. Okay. Question is write a SQL to find out callers whose first and last call was to the same person on a given day, right? So we have to check if a person's first call and last call on a given day is to the same recipient, right? So for example, if we look at the first of January two thousand nineteen, right? Caller ID one called recipient ID two first nine o'clock. Then five o'clock it is on three recipient ID three. And again, eleven uh, o'clock. It is recipient ID four. So the first call was to two, and then four, which means this is not the right record for the output. Okay, let's look at this one. Caller ID two on on fifth, right? So first call is to recipient ID five, and last call also, if you see, to five. So this we want in the report in the output that caller ID two call date is five fifth July. And recipient ID is five. So to this person on this day he called first call also and last also. Similarly, if we look at this, here again it is different, right? First recipient is third and last call is to five. Again, this doesn't qualify. Now again here on the second of August, first and last are same. So that is there in our output. So this is the question. Okay. So let's see how we can solve it. Okay, I will put in the description box the insert statement and create table. Try yourself if you have a better solution, or you should try yourself first and then look at my solution and post in comment section if your solution is different from mine. I will have a look and let you know if that is a better solution. Okay, so let's start. So what we have to do first is, uh, first we have to let me just run this now. We don't need output. Okay, so what we need first is. For each day, we want to see what is the first call and what is the last call timing, right? If we get it, then we can join back to this table and see when who was the recipient of the first and last call, right? So what I'm going to do? This is a very interesting problem because we will be using this column for group by also and min max also. So I will say caller ID, right? We have a caller ID. And then we have date called, right? Now I want each day, right? I don't. So this has timestamp also. So what I will do? I will cast it as date, right? As date. So I will have only date, right? So if I run this, you see only date I have, right? So I will name as called date, right? And then what I'm going to do? I'm going to take minimum of date called as first call. Okay, so I will get on that day what was the first call, and that again take I'm maximum of it. I will get the last call of that day, right? Last call, and here I will take maximum. Okay, from phone log. And group by on these two columns. So for each caller ID and date, I will get first and last call time, date time, right? Let me run this quickly. Uh, so the group by is missing. Group by, okay. Okay. So we have got for caller ID one. On first, first call was made on this time, and last call was made on this time, right? Now what I will do, I will just show you this table again, and then I will show you what we are going to do. Okay, so let me run these two. Okay, so what I will do, this is my driving table now, whatever I got, and I will join this with the caller ID and first call, right? If I join it with Caller ID and first call it will join with this. So first call will be joined with I will join on caller ID first call on caller ID date called right. 
so caller id and first call will be joined with this and i will get the recipient id okay so this guy first recipient is recipient 2 and then again i will join this table on last call and caller id so this will join with this and this i will get the recipient 4 and then i can just compare if the recipient is same or not okay just bear with me for 5 minutes and you will understand how this is working okay so i will just create a ct with calls as right and then i'll say select star from calls okay inner join i'm going to join with phone log as i told you right i will say it p1 on right i will say it as c so c dot c dot caller id c dot caller id right c dot caller id equal to p1 dot caller id and right and and c dot first call right c dot first call equal to p1 dot date called okay so i joined with this let's see the data now and we will have to do one more join let's do it and then we will see the data together i am going to again join with this phone log table right i will call it as p2 and i will say c dot caller id equal to p2 dot caller id and c dot first not first call now this time last call right equal to p2 dot date called right so this time this will be joined with the last one this record and now what i will do i will say give me c dot star comma from p1 i just want recipient because i want to check the first and last recipient are same or not so p1 dot recipient id comma p2 dot recipient id right and let me run this query and the original table again so that i can show you what is happening okay so if you see this is my first recipient id okay let me rename it also to make it clear as first recipient right as last recipient okay let me run it again okay so if we look at it caller id 1 on date first right on first who is the first recipient two so we have got two here we have got two right last recipient is four so we have got four again on second uh, for the second record 5th july right if we look at it the first is five and the last is five so if we look at it in the output first is five and last is five so what we have to do we have to just say where now i will put a where condition where first recipient equal to last recipient give me those records and that will be my answer i will say where this equal to this is my last recipient so this is the power of join right same table we have joined twice on first and last call and get the recipient so we got the two records right so these recipient are same so in the output we can just remove one of the recipient okay because in output we just need recipient for which we have called the person has called first and last call so we have got that caller id 2 on 5th july first call was this last call was this and recipient was this so we don't even need these two column we can just take these three column and that's it that will be the output i hope this makes sense okay let me know if you have any doubt and post your solution I would love to see if you have a better solution, easy solution. And if you have any other approach, completely different approach, do let me know. Also, what you can try, one more thing is, 
what if we have a one call only so one caller has called a receipt uh, in a day only one call so those records should not come but this query will give those records so just try insert a record with the third of august only one call and that should not come in the output okay thanks for watching the video have a good day bye